My name is Christopher Gray. I am the CEO and founder of Scholarly, an app that helps students find money for college, pay off their student loans, and help them improve their writing. I launched Scholarly because um, growing up, I grew up um, very poor. Um, even though I tested and got into a magnet high school, you know, had good grades, um, but I was going to college right during the peak of the recession, so my mom lost her job and most of the people in my family lost their jobs. Um, and we even went through like a period of homelessness for a little bit. You know, no one in my school knows. So um, I, you know, had to turn to either student loans or a scholarship. And my mom was like, you know, I'm, she's like, I'm not taking it. <laughs> I filed bankruptcy like eight times. <laughs> she's like not doing it still on the loan piece. So I had to turn to scholarships. And I was also the first in my family to go to college. So um, I had to navigate that process myself. I applied for 400 scholarships and um, I got a lot of them and I ended up getting 1.3 million dollars in scholarships to pay for college and, um, and it was a, but it was a long process. It took me about seven months to find all this money um, and I realized that the, you know there was this huge need for all these different scholarships to help people reduce their debt but also um, you know students look for the money they can't find each other and my process of helping people throughout college um, I decided that I wanted to create something to productize, you know, this solution, and that's why I started Scholar. But it was really the, the need of my own, like kind of th that, that experience I had on my own, and really how hard it is to find that, um, to find that money, but also just trying to help others in that process as well. So, um, yeah, so it was really daunting, but I really wanted to kind of create a social enterprise. Um, and since then, you know, we've expanded to help people in other parts of that process. We've um, launched editor product that instantly proofreads and edits any of their essays or papers or dissertations or anything that you know students are working on, and teaches them what to um, teaches them kind of like what's wrong with it. Um, we we you know we pay off a bunch of people's student loans through partnership with Gronish, um, you know, Yar Shahidi and other um, and other cool programs that that, that we've done. Um, yeah, so so we really have created this social enterprise, and it all started with helping people pay for college. I launched Scholar in 2015 on Shark Tank. You know, the airing was an experience, um, but you know, filming was even more of an experience. They saw us through a USA Today article we ran um, that was actually based on my story. And then I kind of mentioned how I was kind of kind of thinking about starting this idea. And a producer from the show reached out to, to Drexel, the school um, I went to, and they were um, to reach out to me to talk to me about the idea that I wanted to do. Then when I talked to the producer, they really liked my story, liked the idea, because Shark Tank is all about, you know, it's not just about the product, but it's also about the entrepreneur. They then sent him my audition tape, and they went, um, and then just went like a month or two passed by, and they told me, hey, we want to fly you to LA. What was interesting about my experience filming the show was that the day I was actually supposed to film, they ran out of time. And they basically gave me two options. Um, they were like, either you can stay the next day, which we're already full, and you may get, you may get squeezed in, or you come back in September, which we may not even have you come back in September because we may be booked in as well, you know, take that risk. So I decided to stay the, to stay the extra day um, and film. So fun fact, so quick fast forward, I ended up getting a deal with Damon John and Laura Guineer um, for on Shark Tank, um, and that's where we launched. But the irony part about the filming process, to backtrack a little bit, was that the day I was supposed to film, neither of them were on the panel. <laughs> So it's funny, so that's my always my fun story about Shark Tank is that everything happens for a reason because actually if I would have got what I wanted that day I wouldn't have had the opportunity to have the sharks I partnered with. So we launched on a show, we had we started the biggest fight in Shark Tank history. This is all sour grapes. We started talking grapes. about an algorithm. What do you it's know about all algorithms? Sour grapes. It's not sour grapes. You know what? You're really pissing me off right now. <laughs> I'm gonna say something rude to you. No, and I don't, don't want to say something because rude you're to not you. A rude so guy. I'm just gonna go. Okay? Because I there was yes, no need to do, do something that, like that. You should do that, but that's actually not you. are smarter than You're that. not the guy to walk away and walk off. Dame, Lori offered me a deal in like within 15 minutes. Um, within filming, she offered a deal in one minute of, you know, where the show was there. Um, and then Damon came in and, you know, Robert Hershevac, um, the three white sharks, Robert Hershevac, Kevin O'Leary, and Mark Cuban wanted to ask more questions. And I'm like, look, I got two sharks that gave me exactly what I'm asking for. And I'm like, I'm not trying to look stupid on the show. So I'm gonna take y'all deal and I'm out. <laughs> Cause whatever y'all got to do with y'all, whatever they are doing with each other had nothing to do with me. So I got, I took the deal, which is exactly what I asked for and I walked out. Um, but apparently after I left, there was this huge fight that I didn't see till it aired. Um, and yeah, the, and it, it got so ugly to where both the three white sharks walked out.
And you know, the whole element, the whole conversation on Twitter at the time was that, well, okay, this is a black entrepreneur that actually had real revenue and he got a deal based on it, but white entrepreneurs in tech can raise $3 million with the idea. So that's how it is. Um, and you know, Damon and Lori called them out on it. And actually a lot of that conversation didn't actually get aired. So it was so Shark Tank was the start of it all. Damon and Lori have been great partners since then. So after Shark Tank, we skyrocketed to number one in the app store for both iPhone and Android um, for nearly um, almost two months actually. And then we, um, then that year, Apple chose us as app of the year. Um, you know, because of that, Steve Case, founder of AOL, invested in us. We also got investment with Kevin Plank, the time founder of Honor Armor. Um, you know, first round capital is also one of our first investors. So it was really, um, it was really a surreal moment. And I was in college. I didn't even graduate yet. <laughs> I was getting ready to walk across the stage, like maybe four months after that. You know, you can be young, you can be talented, you can be smart, you can create a great product. And one thing I kind of reassure young entrepreneurs all the time is that you're learning how to run a company and running a company at the same time. You're, you're not going to everything. You know, I was just reading um, Bob Iger's book, you know, and I just finished that and. He's, you know, CEO of Disney, and he talks about that he's still learning and still, you know, you're still making mistakes and still doing that, all while trying to really lead a company um, in the right way and really, and really empower the people. Some good highlights. Um, so right now, Scholar has three, three and a half million users. Um, we've helped students raise $100 million because we've helped literally most of all, if not all, scholarships are not on Scholar. Um, and people trust our platform. So most of the people who are winning scholarships are usually winning through our app. So we're really proud of that. Um, most students, we hear students all the time. I'm, when I'm at an event, I'm speaking somewhere who are coming to us and saying that they found scholars, um, scholarships on our app. We've now um, started like a lot of different cool partnerships that help, that help us drive more users. Also, a lot of brand partnerships that we've done. Um, we've done, you know, obviously Jesse Williams is, um, is, um, is on our team as well on our board. We have a, um, we partnered with Lil Nas X. He wanted to create a scholarship um, that, that allowed him to be able to kind of really help empower his son. That was really cool. He's one of the sweetest, um, you know, people, like young people kind of on the planet. And, you know, we were really proud that he wanted to work, that he wanted to work with us considering he's at the peak of his career right now. We had thousands of opportunities, but the fact that we gave him a platform to be able to make the impact he wanted to have was really um, powerful. And that application already has like, it was, it's been going a month and it already has 100,000 students have applied already. We partnered with Gronish, which was actually our first campaign bearing partnership with Yara and the whole cast. Um, and we paid off three people student loans. So it was really powerful. It was all over the internet. Like it was literally mentioned in a hundred different press outlets to a point where Disney was telling us that people were, like the cast was doing a tour to like promote the show and people were asking, <laughs> the reporters asking them about the student loan payout program. When you're focusing on students, it's, you know, definitely have students find scholarships. When you start paying out people loans, everybody's like, <laughs> you, start, you start hitting a more general market. Um, and we kind of, and like I said, that campaign we did with Gronish was the start of that. We saw this reaction and this, you know, this movement around people being debt free. So we're really excited about that and helping and really allowing our brand to touch, you know, those 44 million Americans who are struggling with student debt every day.